guys. So we told you when we started the YouTube channel that we were going to do some of our training tips on there, some of the stuff that we do with our bulls. Today we're going to work on how we get the bulls to turn back. And a lot of bulls it comes natural, some bulls you kind of got to do some things with. And the system that we work with today is going to be a system that I tried last year and I got to tell you what, I didn't believe in it and we got a lot of great tips. So stay tuned, we'll show you how we get them to turn. So for starters, you know we got Saturday Night Special Pendolf, he'll be the first one that we work with. And we threw everybody else over on the other side just to get them out of the way. Now when we're just penning them up to work with them, it doesn't matter which side they come out of. As long as they're in a pen by themselves so we can get to them, work with them easier, it makes life a whole lot easier. On Here we have Saturday Night Special in the shoot. He'll be the first bullet we work with today. And this is one of the ones that really made me a believer in this system. You know, we, when we had him with a dummy, he bucked always really, really good, but he was kind of scatterbrained. He really didn't know what he wanted to do. And then we came out and we tried this turn back system and we eventually got him to turn back with a dummy. Now being a three year old, we're gonna kind of turn it up a little bit. Kind of went back to his old ways with a rider, kind of scatterbrained, still bucks really good, but we need him to get that turn back. So we're gonna work with him first today. Okay, so step one, you know, we got him in here. We'll crack the slide loose. Open goes the chute gate, he turns around, comes right back in here. Now, where this, and you see we leave it right open, he can go right back into the back pens. Where this comes into, comes handy, is they get used to when they come out of that chute, the first thing that they're gonna know to do is they're used to seeing that panel and turning back and coming back in here. So what that does is it'll eventually get them to the point where they're used to that, momentum will carry them around and they spin right here inside of the box. So here you see we got him back in the back pens and guys, this is not a NASCAR race. It is not something that you gotta run through. Once he comes back out of there, let him stand here for a minute. You know, there's nothing that's gonna, nothing that says that you gotta do this at 9,000 miles an hour. So now we've let him stand here for about five minutes. We're gonna kinda ease our way on around him here. Come on, bub, you know. And we'll just kinda slow walking back up into the chute. Like I said, this does not have to be fast. It works better if you don't go fast. So here you see the same thing. Just gonna undo that rope there and get it ready. This is where, when you're doing this with a camera, it makes things three times as difficult. But so you see, we go ahead and we push that gate open. Open goes the slide. And what that does is that teaches that bull to look. All he's gotta do to get it on his head to turn back, when he comes out of that chute is he's gotta think, I've gotta look back towards that slide gate. And with this system, it works, and it works well. All right, now same thing, Captain Jack, M14. And go ahead and get him loaded up here. We're only gonna do it one time with Captain Jack. As you guys have probably seen, we've got his videos of him bucking, or if you could call it that on our channel. His days of bucking are just about done. We're still working through. He got caught up today, so he gets to work out with the rest of the guys, but truth be told, Captain Jack's just kind of a family man now. All right, so same deal, Captain Jack. Go ahead and give a tug on the rope, send their gate open. Ronnie, get in the hole. Bye. You see, this one's not super eventful. We probably are gonna have to, well, no, we got the herding dogs at home. Josie, get him in a hole. I'm telling you what, guys, we're new to having herding dogs. I will not go without out again. I will not go without again. Now we're ready to do 509 still showing up. It doesn't matter. 
just going to put them in here for one quick trip, but this gives us another training tip opportunity to keep one more pull in the shoot. Like I said, guys, today's not a show. It's not a thousand miles an hour. You don't have guys waiting on you. The producer's breathing down your ears. The, you know, you can get that bull rolling. So this kind of what we're going to do is we're just going to set some crisp to the pressure on it. That's the most important part is if they're not going to do something, they're not going to do it and the more you try to make them do it, the worse it's going to get. So now I want you guys to watch this calf after we're doing what we did. Josie! Come on, bud. Come on. Go. First move, right there. Let's kind of work our way out. Here, work his way back in. I'm gonna latch this just to keep that from swinging open. We never want to hurt a bull. Never want to hurt a bull. Come on, Bubba, get in a hole. In a hole. Get in a hole. Sorry about throwing the camera there. I had to make sure I got my strip and shoot light. It's painful if you don't. Come on, bub. Kick him into the dump pen. We'll run him back in over here because we are done with his side. So we're gonna get him penned up away from fence line fugitives so we can work him one on one. And it's the same setup on both sides. You know, obviously it wouldn't make sense if we kick fence line out of the other side being that he is a right-handed bull. So for this guy we're gonna do something a little bit different. Julie's done feeding face so we're gonna hand the camera down to her so you guys get kind of a different angle of it. And that way you can really truly see how things go. Come on, Come on, get a hold. Come on. Come on, get a hold. Get a hold. Come on. Same thing, guys. It does. It's not a race. The fastest one to load a bull, and when you're working with them at home, doesn't ever win. Tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up.
We sure do appreciate it.